Hello Libra, welcome back to the Alice Illuminator for your July. He says she says spread. I hope you are all doing great. You're fine and healthy. So let's go ahead and see what is going on in the relationship department. Let's see what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, I will have the extended reading available on my website, so the link is down in the description box below this video. So let's um, let's get it started. And if this reading resonates with you, please drop a like and share your comments if you like. So let's see what is going on for my dear Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get it started. What are the messages for July for Libra? Yeah, you were definitely prominent in the reading of Leo and in the reading of, um, I believe, Virgo as well. You have the Nine of Wands reversed with the Hermit. So, Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else, what else. Could be dealing with a Libra or Virgo, sorry. Whew. Wow, yeah, this looks like you are retreating yourself. You're retreating yourself because it feels... These are a lot of cards that popped out, but anyway. You are retreating yourself thinking about some type of situation in your life that has brought you a lot of disturbance, okay? And you are trying to figure out how to get out of this situation. It looks like... This has to do with multiple people, it could be a group of people, it could be in regards to um, a relationship that is just not coming together. You feel like there is some something missing, like the umph is missing, you can already see where this is going to lead and it's not going to be um, uplifting in your energy is what I'm picking up on and you're already making a judgment call to retreat yourself because you feel like if you continue on this path that you're going to get hurt. That's what I'm picking up on your energy. So it looks to me as if you are making a um, decision for your higher self and your highest good to uh, not fight for this individual to be in your life or for some type of situation to not be in your life because you're, you're kind of like, whoa, I believe that my spirit guides are trying to warn me of a storm that is about to come. That's what I'm picking up in your energy. So very, very specific energy. And I do get the feeling that you uh, are trying to figure a way out of this. You feel like you have been sacrificing a lot in this, in this situation. And you're really trying to figure out where you did wrong or how you can resolve this uh, this conflict or this issue, but you're really looking at the tower. Look at that. This this hermit is watching the tower, which is you know this. This is a very special reading. The way that the cars just flew out, it's very um, different. And there were a lot of cars that flew out, by the way. So it's really telling a whole story. So yeah, this was something that needed to be told, I guess. So you're really looking at a situation, a problem in your life that is really crumbling down. And it, it really feels like a storm, you know, like you can foresee the storm coming. And you're patiently trying to figure out within your soul how to tackle this. How to, um, you know, some of you may be really praying, okay? I see you really being on your knees and praying to God or to Spirit to give you enlightenment of how to fix this situation. And I feel like your prayers are definitely hurt. I mean, if this is a situation that you know that is going on and you've been praying for that, this is Spirit saying like your prayers are hurt and the obstacle in front of you is not easy to tackle and they want you to know that. They want you to know that it's a very heavy obstacle on your path, that it's a very, you know, that it's a storm that's going to come, that's going to sweep things away and it's going to make you move forward in life again. Even though you may lose some people, you may need to sacrifice some people in your life and slowly but surely pick yourself back up, you, um, yeah, it's going to be some heavy ride. Libra, I'm not going to lie to you, but I just want you to know that spirit has heard your silent call for help. That's that's something that I want to give to you. 
What's going on with your person? High Priestess, someone is silent, they're not speaking up, they are um, probably close out of communication right now. Hangman, hey yeah, there's a lot of silence, long, long pauses within this connection. And I feel like it's a very spiritual connection. Hermit, High Priestess and the Hangman, all three, do denote a lot of spirituality. So this is a very deep connection. And your person is now trying to, um, you know, trying to figure out just as much as you want to figure out and how to move things forward in this connection. They also know that they, there are some sacrifices that they need to make. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Justice in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles. So this is really telling me that your person is not ready for like coming forward. They know that they've done a lot of wrongdoings here with the Justice in the reverse. And I believe that they are trying to withhold and withdraw their energy in order to figure out how to correct their mistakes, but they're not moving on it. Four of Pentacles is saying that they're shut off, definitely a lot of shut off type of energy. And I feel like both of you are spiritually really trying to figure out how to move this forward. Gosh, I'm so light. I just saw it right now. The weather here in Holland is just really crazy. So <laughs> I can't even keep up with the camera. I'm just trying to adjust like every minute of the day. But sorry. So yeah, your person is a little bit scared to um, set a course correction in this connection between both of you. I don't know why I feel like they know that they've hurt you in a very major way and that you're now slipping away, slipping from their fingers is what I'm hearing. It's like every time you go into that cycle, you feel abandoned, you feel lost, you feel betrayed and you feel unhappy. So you're like, why am I still holding on to, to this connection? But spirit and the spiritual world is really connecting both of you and you're trying to figure out like why like if someone is hurting me so much why do i have that spiritual connection i can totally vibe with what you're thinking it's like definitely seeing these cards i would be also like but why why do i have this connection then let's see okay i need to check what that is Justice, High Priestess in the reverse in your blockage. Just hold on. So I just got the card. So in your blockage, dear Libra, you got the Justice card, the High Priestess and the Four of Swords wanted to flow out. So that's just a lot of, uh, a lot of restless energy. Um, you're really trying to dig deep and figure out all the secrets that this person um, has or even the lies that this person has um, sold to you is what I'm picking up on. I feel that you, yeah, look at that. Like, yeah, these are these are lies. I feel like someone has told some type of a lie or s white lies is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but someone has really made you believe something that was absolute nonsense and you figure that out and you're trying to figure out where you went wrong in the situation and believing this individual eight of wands to the three of swords there must have been a lot of the, the, i feel like there has been a very painful conversation that has led both of you into some type of separation or making the problem and the issue way bigger than it used to be or um was supposed to be Ace of Swords here as well. So you're still digging out for that truth. That's what I just stated. Like you're trying to figure out what what the lie was exactly, what was behind this lie exactly is what I'm picking up on. So in order for you to make a fair and just decision in terms of this situation, and it feels like you are really uh, torn. I feel like there is an energy of you being very torn within your own spirit. Um, I almost get this energy of, you know, when your spirit guides always guide you towards that person and, and, and you, you know, you take that leap of faith, you try to do what your spirit guides tell you to do and then it just 
turns out into some disaster and then you figure out like you're trying to ask yourself like but spirit didn't you just tell me to do that like i was so guided towards this situation or towards this person like how can it blow up like that um so that that's the, i feel like an anger towards spirit almost i don't know if i'm correct in saying that but that's that's what i'm picking up like you're you're pissed off at your spirit guys almost like libra this is such a special weird reading so yeah you're trying to figure out why you've been guided and let me tell you the answer is your heart queen of cups i think that's that's the answer just because <clears throat> Yeah, let's see. What's their blockage? God, there are many, many cards for just the second row. But anyway, <laughs> what's the blockage for them? Yeah, they've been very controlling. They're still very controlling, by the way. And they're, they're not seeing it. That's the issue. When someone does not see their behavior, does not see their... Um, their manipulative nature because the king of wands in the reverse is a very like this is not a very generous individual like they can get very pissed off they only think about themselves a uh, very player type of energy i'm not getting a very player here but i'm but i do get someone that is manipulative someone that wants what they want out of the situation at all costs and the problem, and I always say that, the problem is the Eight of Swords. That this person is being, like, placing themselves in a victimhood mentality. They're, they're pointing fingers or they're not seeing their own um, energy, which is very aggressive, which is very dominant, controlling, okay? And when, when, when people don't see that, that's when the judgment and the tower kicks in. That might be not you know, looking fluffy for you, but for them, it's also not the prettiest because when they go through a judgment, you know, it's a judgment day. So, you know, it's spirit facing, spirit putting it in their face, like, but you behave like this. And this is the way that you're behaving towards people in your life. You need to get yourself straight. So with the judgment card, I feel like this person has been trying to avoid that, trying to put themselves in victimhood mentality. And the judgment and awakening is saying that the universe is about to shake it up. And they're going to come to the realization of their own behavior, which has been very restless and very, um, you know, like I'm, I'm getting a very shaky feeling from, from this individual. Let's see. Ooh, heavy start of the reading. Well, it's not a start anymore, but like, feels like a roller coaster here. What is your intentions? What are your intentions, Libra? Eight of Cups reverse. What is your intention? Magician and the Seven of Wands. So, whomever this person is, you don't want them back. Like, you are using all your power, all your manifestation to really kick out uh, energies that, that want to come back to you, want to return back to you. So, this might be the same person. This might be also other people in your surrounding that are trying to navigate themselves back in order to, for you to fulfill their needs. And you're just like, oh, nobody, you're not going to get in there. Um, a magician with the seven of wands you have all your defenses set the seven of wands is definitely a warrior type of energy that is really ready for war you know what I mean and with the magician you got all the tools to just kick it I don't know what's going on Libra but you have a very um, how do I say that like the, uh, some type of a breakthrough coming in within your voice within your personality to really you know kick out all the things that are not serving you so very strong energy I, I can feel it in my brain it's just like my crown chakra is just like whew, very strong energy
Yeah. I mean, I can... I can definitely understand because if you have been always trying to maintain the balance here, if you always try to do the best you can for everyone involved and you keep on continuing getting this tower and, and uh, you know, feeling left out and unhappy with how people treat you and the lack of joy that they bring to you and the majority of those relationships turning out into betrayals that's just like up until here and not not further like you're not gonna get further than this line don't do not cross that and that's what i'm picking up like heavy heavy but this is a part of your soul's journey okay this is definitely a part of your soul journey just trust that spirit will not give you more than you can't handle what is their intention? Seven of Cups. What are their intentions? Knight of Swords. Lazy. I'm getting lazy energy here. Page of Wands. Like this is not going to be enough. Like that's that's your call as well. But I can t definitely tell why because. This person's intention is to keep their options open, to always see if there is something better out there, uh, keep you as like a puppet on a shelf and just been waiting and see if they can get someone better and hotter and uh, more successful. Like that type of energy is what I'm getting because this person is not healed within themselves. There is a lot of um, lack of confidence within themselves. So they really need to be with some people that can uplift their confidence and that's not the way it works. The grass is not always greener on the other side. The man, it starts with the man in the mirror. So Knight of Swords to the Page of Wands, this is someone that avoids conflict, avoids answering questions or um, even asking you questions that are valuable for this relationship. And matter of fact, after they disappear, they come back around as if nothing ever happened. So, you know, so let's see, I'm going to pull some cards for the extended and then we're going to figure out what else is going on. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that is, that has a lot of emotions, that has deep feelings. This could be a new person coming in as well, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person has been juggling. Okay, this person has definitely been juggling a lot. Could be someone from your way past that is trying to re-enter and they are trying to figure out what you're up to. This is someone that is highly spying on you. So be mindful, Libra. There is definitely someone around your energy that is trying to um, win or gain some type of information about you. And they don't mind if it's negative information either, or if it's sometimes some type of gossip. Uh, this is someone that could even um, hear some type of gossip and then just like talk about it with you. Like, hey, I heard that Susie said like this and this and that. So be mindful of this type of energy. I don't, I don't like this type of energy. Power. Yeah, this. You might have been in some type of a power struggle with this individual. This person is also trying to overpower you in a sense. Uh, I feel like you're really being challenged. You're really being challenged by spirit and all the situations around you. So it's really going to be a month where you really need to calm down. Do know that what I said about spirit protecting you, you are being protected. And if you feel like you need some extra protection, try to do some type of a, a protection ritual for yourself or um, ask for some more protection from Archangel Michael, for example, because I can totally understand that things are not going exactly the way that you want right now. And you may feel very vulnerable and even attacked by these people. I, I can definitely see that but spirit is also saying surrender to the divine because you're almost where you need to be you're almost there achieving your goal so do not give up that easily okay do not give up that easily 
So, guys, I'm going to um, continue this reading on my website. And I was just like, where did this Empress fall? I had too many cards already. <laughs> the Empress in the reverse just showed up so randomly. I did not even notice it. But, yeah, people trying to push you down. You are the Empress, so keep yourself up. Keep your chin up, your head up, and you can go through it. You have your protection, Libra. So, if you want to follow me on my website, the link is in the description box below this video. Um, I will continue with the He Says, She Says spread. And yeah, if you, if it has resonated with you, if you got any information out of it, drop your like and drop your comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and bye.